The holidays can be a lovely and festive time of the year, but for many, it can mean loads of stress and burnout before the season is over. Hi there, I'm Dr. Michael Kay, the owner of the Center for Functional Health, and today I want to talk about managing stress and expectations around the holiday season. Do you know what the most common stressors are around the holiday season? A study commissioned by the National Mental Health Association identified some of the top stressors around the holiday season, such as lack of time, lack of money, and gift-giving pressure. It's important to realize that these pressures can be managed. Here are a few helpful tips for lowering stress this holiday season. The first key is to prioritize. Prioritize your time and energy, which this can help prevent the immense pressure and stress. In short, don't be afraid to say no to events that won't bring you joy. Next, avoid overcommitment. Attend events that you really want to experience so that you can really appreciate the people and events that are most meaningful to you. Next, stick to a budget. Making a budget before the holiday season can help you stick to realistic spending habits. You don't want to start the new year with the additional stress of debt. Keep in mind that studies have found that experiences are often more memorable gifts than actually buying things for people. Activities like offering to babysit for a stressed out mother, going for a walk with a lonely senior, or cooking a fancy dinner at home can ultimately be more appreciated than breaking your budget. It's your time. The holidays are meant to be a festive time spent with family and friends, but the pressures of a perfect season can surely be stressful if we don't keep expectations manageable. Okay, now let's talk about eating nutrient dense over the holidays. The holidays are not a time to be worried about your weight. I know many people are. In fact, they are a time to focus on our regular eating habits and nutrient-dense meals. So let's talk about a few ways that you can enjoy the holiday season and events while still nourishing your body. I know many are worried about gaining weight over the holidays. Now, there was a research paper published in New England Journal of Medicine that shows that our fears of holiday weight gain are often exaggerated. According to this study, the average person actually only gains less than a pound. So instead of trying to limit food intake, skipping meals and stressing about treats, focus on eating and drinking for energy throughout the season. So here are some tips that may help. Eating natural whole foods will protect your mental health, energy levels, and digestion. Before a party, try to eat a balanced meal complete with complex carbs, healthy fats, and quality protein. I usually eat before a party. For potluck parties, offer to bring something healthy like a fruit salad, veggie chai, raw or grilled, doesn't have to be boring, or get a nutrient-packed salad. Don't be afraid to buy seasonal treats. Um, eat treats mindfully taking the time to savor the flavors. Many people have special memories associated with treats that are only available at this time of the year. At the moment, it might feel like alcoholic drinks make things merry, and I understand that, but keep in mind that alcohol is a depressant. It reduces decision-making skills. It dehydrates your cells, and of course, it isn't safe if you drive. If you're already feeling stressed, alcohol often makes that stress feeling worse. Fortunately, a lot of exciting non-alcoholic drinks have entered the market, including kombucha, much improved non-alcoholic beer, and low sugar sparkling drinks. And of course, remember to stay hydrated. If you do want to drink alcohol, be sure to drink lots of water after every drink. Now let's talk about some other healthy habits, such as movement and sleep. So let's not forget we have to move our body and we have to have good sleep to maintain our health. It's easy to hibernate, especially when it's dark and it's cold outside. Don't let the weather slow you down. For social gatherings, suggest active get-togethers like walks. And if you're able to explore winter sports like skiing, skating, and snowshoeing, that's even better. While getting in shape is one of the most popular New Year's resolutions, there's no reason that you have to wait until the New Year. Even though you're busy exercising during the holidays will help you cope with stress and give you energy. A new study re revealed that you just need eight minutes a day for a physiological change. Personally, I believe it's more though. You don't have to commit to long workouts. Every bit of activity helps. If you're limited by time and money, you can find free workouts for every level and every length on YouTube. In fact, I invite you to check out my YouTube channel, the Center for Functional Health, which has lots of exercise. However, as always, if you're not sure where to start, talk to a professional. Next is sleep. It's hard to be energized and festive when you're not getting enough sleep. No matter how busy you are, do your best to stick to your regular sleep schedule. In fact, 
It can take up to four days to recover from one hour of missed sleep. While all this stimulation of the holidays you might find it's harder to actually settle down and get good sleep. We want to focus on maintaining good sleep and good sleep hygiene, including reducing the light exposure from your phone and other devices before bedtime, as blue light suppresses your body's production of sleep-inducing hormone called melatonin. You also want to maintain a calm and cool sleeping environment. Next, avoid vigorous exercise that's close to bedtime, and don't drink alcohol or eat right before you go to sleep. I'm here to help if you need guidance on maintaining your healthy habits over the holiday season. We can get you the proper assessment and plan of action so that you can live your best life starting today. So I wish everybody a happy holiday season, stay healthy and strong. See you soon.